Hello, I'm Bill Fitzgerald with Northeast Inspection Services and we're here today looking at a heating system. This is a gas-fired Will McLean forced hot water boiler. It's called a boiler because what we're going to be doing is heating water. It's also called a hydronic water system or forced hot water system. What we're going to be doing today is, is just verifying the working condition of the boiler and uh, later on we'll be taking a look at the baseboards to make sure that they're all heating up. This is a fairly efficient heating system. Um, this is a gas-fired unit so there's not going to be as uh, much um, uh, with the combustion, the combustion is going to be a lot cleaner than it would be with oil. Some of the safety devices that I'd be looking for. Well, with this here, I think the first safety device I'd be looking for is a pressure relief valve. The pressure relief valve is on the back here. Water is going to get heated up to about 180 degrees. You want to make sure if that pressure builds up, there'll be something to release it. Um, this is our water supply. This is the water coming in. Um, backflow preventer. We have a pressure reducing valve because we want to lower the water pressure. From the street, the water pressure could be 40, 50, 60 pounds. This is going to lower the water pressure to 12 to 15 pounds. Now when I walk in here, one of the things I want to find out is, is how many zones are there on this heating system. And uh, this is a good indication. These are called zone valves. And you can see there's wiring to them. The wiring basically is going upstairs to the thermostats. This particular house has three zones. One for the basement, one for the first floor, and one for the second floor. Those thermostats are going to tell these zone valves to open or close. So basement, second floor, first floor. That's all driven by the circulator pump. The circulator pump really is an electric pump. It's going to spin and push water to the various zones in the house. People are always curious about this. This is an expansion tank. It has nothing to do with your hot water. What this basically is is a shock absorber. So as the water heats up, it's going to expand. As it cools down, it contracts. And this will absorb that energy. Above here, this is actually is, is a bleeder valve. This is going to be trying to bleed some of the air in the system. So if you're lying in bed at night and you hear water gurgling through your baseboards, it's really not water, it's air, and uh, the system's not going to work as well. So we want to get the air out of the lines. During the course of the inspection, what I'm going to be looking at is, is, uh, is the flame. So I'm just going to turn this on. Okay. The first thing that engages, you can actually hear the exhaust. The exhaust actually is just going on. What we're going to do basically is to take out those gases, and then there's going to be a glow plug here. This is electronic ignition, so it's going to heat up. Gas will run over that glow plug, and you can hear it right now, flame. It's going to fire up. Well, I'm looking at this, and it looks a little dirty. Uh, I don't think it's really been cleaned recently. Uh, so that's one of the things we want to do is maybe have somebody come in here, a heating contractor, and at least um, you know, clean it out, chop back it. 